Institute for Islamic Spiritual Learning. I'd like to start us off um, with a prayer, the prayer of opening. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is a meditational prayer. So, I bring myself to the door of God in the name of God, closer to me than all my relatives, creator of relationships, and the one who nurtures them best. My devotion and my praises flow to God the guide and nourisher of the soul and conscience of every being, the one Lord dearer to me than my own self, the one to whom I belong, the source of my life, the ground of my being and the origin of my identity. I sing the name of my Lord. I sing the name of my King, King of my heart, owner of my soul, judge of my intentions, the truth of my interactions, and the sincerity of my engagement with him. My Lord and nourisher of my soul, here I am in your court, honored by this audience with you. I stand before your majesty. I beseech you on my behalf and on behalf of all creation, echoing the eternal voice of all conscious beings, those who came before me, those who are living with me, and those who will come after me, I say, our journey is to you, and in you we find our strength, assistance, and support. You light the way, and you give the will. You are the end, and you are the means. Guide us on your straight path. Lead us in your good way, the way of eternal bliss, walked by your beloved ones, those who awakened to become witnesses to your abundant grace, who appreciate and fully experience your blessings. I seek refuge in your eternal grace and everlasting light, my Lord and teacher of my soul, from being of those who are blind to your beauty and goodness, who stay deaf to your call of love, those who consume, dishonor, devalue, or take your gifts for granted. I seek refuge in your eternal grace and everlasting light, my Lord and teacher of my soul, from being of those whose resistance has made them experience divine gifts as their privation, for whom blessings become barriers and opportunities for guidance and closeness to you become the very cause of their severance. I knock at your door, my Lord. I am at your threshold. Do not let me turn away. May this door never become an obstacle. Open my being to you and open the way for me. Amen. For those who are familiar, this is the translation of Surah Al-Fatiha, for those of you who know the Surah Al-Fatiha, which is the opening spirit of the revelation of God. It's something we recite uh, on a daily basis. And it's something that we recite also in gatherings like this, asking that our hearts open to fully appreciate the significance of this gathering in the moment, and that we are able to send the best prayers that we have in our hearts and if you don't pray, then the best vibes that you have towards the departed soul. In our understanding as Muslims, we don't believe that a soul ever dies. Simply the case is that the time on earth has ended and the soul moves from the physical body into another realm, but is still alive, perhaps more fully alive than ever. And so this is why we say, we believe in, in saying prayers because the journey of the soul continues. And we're here to send our best wishes and our best prayers forward for our sister Yasmin continuing on a beautiful journey um, towards a greater eternal abode. Amin. I'd like to call um, my uncle Ashmid, who is the brother of sister Yasmin, to say a few words at this time. May the peace and blessings of God be with you. 
i did not expect to be speaking but i am honored and humbled to be here in this gathering and it's very difficult to keep the emotion from my voice and from my soul in islam there are three things that the departed can count on to intercede and to provide blessings the quran says that once somebody has passed away whatever good they've done whatever sins they've accumulated that's it there are only three things that will offset the sins and that will add to the blessings those three things include children who will continue the work of the parents from the perspective of the goodness that they do the charity that my sister did will continue a blessing the friendship she's created the good vibes she's created the aura she's left and the benefits she's given to people just from her friendship and for her compassion and consideration and the third thing of course is if she's helped to educate anybody in a good path those persons who pass that education on the blessings from that will continue to accumulate to my sister for generations to come if it is that way to continue generationally i have to admit that i've known my sister somewhat like an iceberg i mentioned that to a new friend i met here i know her as my sister i know her as the person like you know an iceberg you see one fifth above the water you know the person that is your sister her failings her foibles her quiddities her eccentricities and the good things about her and the not so good things about her in terms of things we don't agree with sometimes but under that surface lies her true life and i look around this room and that's what i see i i, I cannot tell you if i wasn't called to speak i would be speechless i would be stupefied and shocked by the impact she's had on people and i presume that you're probably just part of the iceberg there may be more and from that perspective i, I speak on behalf of mark my brother-in-law i speak on behalf of the children syed and zara my sisters Rafia and Shamina, my mom, Hasina, and my children and Yasmin's nephews and nieces. We are grateful that we are greatly and greatly appreciative of what we see here. We're happy that we have been invited to something like this. It is unique to us, and I cannot thank you enough. May God bless you all, whether you believe in him or not, May whatever you believe in bless you all. Amen. Amen. And I want to thank the Imam for a, a beautiful dua on behalf of my sister. Um, it's imperative that we think good thoughts and we try to carry it on. As the Imam has said, you, for all that have gone before, all who are to come, and all who are here today. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. May God bless you all. And may God bless my sister abundantly. May he build for her a mansion in paradise. Jazakallah khair. We just thank you so much, everybody. Ameen. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to have some prayers now. Uh, we are blessed in this community to have Yasmin be part of this community. And I'm hearing from so many people about, especially her mother, about how she always wanted to help everyone. And we were recipients of that kind of love and care, um, especially when we were trying to find a new place. We used to be on Montreal Road, um, across from a center that she would attend. And she often would be in our in the prayer space there in the mosque. And when we had to move, I remember having, she had a long conversation with me. She said, I came, I heard that you have to move. I want to give you some ideas. These are the things you can do. These are things that we can do together as a community. And I was amazed. I, I just felt so much support from her and so much love. And so this 
being in this place is also an extension you were saying whatever good she left behind there is her good in this place as well if for nothing else the confidence that and the support that she showed me that day um which really boosted me at a time when it was a difficult time for us these things last these things echo down the generations so we're most grateful to to be here we're going to be saying some prayers uh led by uh sheikh hamdi ben isa who was also a friend of sister yasmin and we invite you all to meditate uh in whatever way you wish and again we're most thankful that you're here alhamdulillah thank you all for coming and trying to to honor a relationship and that's all what will be left true relationships and we cannot have true relationships with anyone you can only have a true relationship with real people only real people can share a true relationship with you and that's what God is telling us. He's telling us, After we part, after we leave this world, only true relationships will remain. Only sincere and true relationships. The true relationship. In other ways, only real people will be able to embrace the real. Because that day will be real. And that, that day will be truth. Only real people will be able to Embrace the real and the truth. One of the names of God is the real. Another name of God is the truth. And therefore, as believers, we need to strive to be real and true. And sincere. And honest. And genuine. And I have met Sister Yasmin a few times. A few times, maybe. More than 20 times, at least. She came, she used to come and pray with us in... At least Salat al-Aid, at least the Aid Salat, and or some events when we have when we have events whenever we have an event in the Lotus Community Corner, she would come and she would bring friends with her. Alhamdulillah. And uh, I, I have always touched and felt in her and the group of ladies who come with her, the group of people who come with her, a sincerity. A sincerity maybe that I'm not used to myself now. I mean, for the past 20 years, I'm, I'm presenting myself as an orthodox Muslim, and dressing in an orthodox way, and used to people who strive in the path of God, following uh, an orthodox uh, way of, uh, of, of presenting themselves. But... Uh, a person like Sister Yasmin taught me that um, having the prophetic concern, having a true and genuine concern for humanity and for the Ummah and for the children of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, the spiritual children of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, um, does not depend on a, on a form or on a costume or on a way to present yourself. Spiritual activism, spiritual activism is the activity of the spirit. It is an activity that comes from the heart. It's not an activity that is that is searching for fame or name. It is a true activity when the spirit is active out of, we call it the sadaqa, the charity of the spirit, the love, the, 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 the divine love. That, that the, when the spirit is wants to share that divine love out of care. And Sister Yasmin was always sharing out of caring, and that's why you are all here, and I'm sure you've been uh, you've been exposed to her to her to her presence many times and always her presence was very generous was very generous alhamdulillah we are very happy allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us and the prophets of the of this great lady were were great were great alhamdulillah she well, she's she was able to gather people from different um, uh, journeys from different uh, walks of life from different religions if you can say different religions from different um, backgrounds from different uh, ways of serving God different forms of serving God 
from the orthodox to the liberal to the from the conservative to the progresses but you know we are in a time where we need all to have that common denominator which is the true concern for humanity and we need all of us to really you know following the path of the prophet today my father told me following the path of the prophet today following the sunnah of the prophet today is really caring for humanity that is it we cannot really reduce it to a formality it is really caring for humanity when you find someone who cares for humanity trying to find solutions because we live in a time of crisis humanity is in crisis muslims the modern islam is a huge deep crisis so whenever you find someone looking for a solution we owe them respect whether we agree with them or we do not agree with them we agree with the way we come out we, we can we can come out with with with, with the, or come up huh? come up with different solutions but you know we need we need this brain uh, brainstorming we say it's brainstorming we need we need all these possibilities and all these opportunities and all these people so let us unite in prayers and as our brother the brother of sister Yasmin just said um, let us unite in prayers and uniting in prayer you know what let us call to the deepest level within us because we all believe that we have a deep level within us and uh, the nest the nest let us let us allow our birds to go back to their nest uh, let us allow our souls, our birds, to go back to the nest, profound, deep within. Let us go back to ourselves, deep within, and be try to find that real within us and pray together to reunite with the sister who was real, who had a real life, and now uh, is living in the world of, re of the real. We call that Darul Haq. Death is not the end. Is not the end. It is actually the house of reality. It's the reality. It's al waqiah it is the reality. It is al haqqa it is the reality. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barak ala Sayyidina wa Habibina Muhammadin wa ala alihi. We thank you, our Lord. We thank you, our Lord. We thank you, our Lord, for honoring your people, honoring those who strive in your path. We thank you, our Lord, for insisting to show us the signs that those who strive in your path will never be dismissed Amen. and will never be for forgotten. We thank you, our Lord, for giving us generosity and the capacity of being generous. We thank you, our Lord, for giving us the opportunity to strive in your path and strive in, in the path of accomplishing and perfecting and bettering ourselves. We thank you, our Lord, for giving us opportunities to serve you and to serve our brothers and sisters. We thank you, our Lord, for, uh, for this gathering. We thank you, our Lord, for these beautiful souls who gathered here tonight to honor their sister, to honor your, cre your creation, to honor your, your, your slave and your servant, Yasmin Asghar Ali. And we ask you, our Lord, we ask you, our Lord, we ask you, our Lord, the way you honored her by this beautiful gathering, to keep honoring her, to keep honoring her, and to never disgrace her. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. Keep honoring her and never disgrace her. Ya Arham ar Ya Allah, Ya Allah, you are the closer to us than our own selves. You are closer to us than our mothers and fathers. You are closer to us than our children. You are closer to us than anything. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, you are the most beloved and you are the closer to us than our closest relatives. We ask you, Ya Arham ar Ya Rabb al We ask you, Ya Arham ar Ya Rabb al to keep taking care of our sister Yasmin. She's in your abode, and we can do nothing for her now unless sending this this expression of 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 of, of respect and asking you and begging you, Ya Allah, Ya Arham Ar Rahmin, Rabb Al Alamin, to accept her and to keep elevating her, elevating her, elevating her, Ya Allah, Ya Arham Ar Rahmin, Rabb Al Alamin. She tried and she 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 was she was she was really trying to find solutions and to 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 make people happy around her and to spread positive thinking and to spread positive 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 positivity around her around herself in her on her facebook page and in 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 her real life we ask you ya allah ya allah to reward her for that 
to reward her for that, to reward her for that multiple faults. Ya Arham ar Rahameen, you are the generous one, you are the generous one, you are the loving one, you are the most caring one. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Arham ar Rahameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Arham ar Rahameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Arham ar Rahameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. وصلي وسلم وبارك على سيدنا حبيبنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه الطيبين الطاهرين. Keep يا أرحم الراحمين nourishing the soul and the light of our Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. As well as all the prophets, all your prophets and messengers, keep nourishing their light, keep nourishing their soul, keep nourishing their strength, their spiritual strength, and keep nourishing our connection with them all. يا الله يا الله يا الله يا الله. Allow us, allow us in these few days that we have on earth. As now we are here, we, we need you more than more than our sister. Yes, me, ya arham ar rahmin, rabbil alameen. We need you because maybe we did not do as, as much as, as, as she was able to do. Maybe we did not cultivate love in our heart the way she cultivated love in, in her heart. Maybe we did not cultivate enough concern for our humanity the way she cultivated concern for our humanity. We ask, ya Allah, to allow all of us, to allow all of us to be healed from selfishness, to be healed from this from this stupidity and, and from this attachment to material things to heal us, Ya Rabbi. We ask you, we ask you to heal us, to purify our hearts from anything that is attaching us to low things and to, we ask you, Ya Rabbi, we ask you, Ya Rabbi, we ask you, Ya Allah, we ask you, Ya Allah, to elevate our souls, to purify our hearts. We ask you, Ya Arham ar Rahmeen, Ya Rabbil Alameen, to higher our aspirations, so we aspire for thee, so we aspire for the neighborhood, so we aspire for things that prophets and good people were, are aspiring for. Ya Arham ar Rahmeen, Ya Rabbil Alameen, Ya Ni'am al Mawla, Ya Ni'am al Nasir. Bless this gathering, bless, bless these people, and bless the brothers and sisters who are here and those who wanted to be here and couldn't be here. Ya Arham ar Rahmeen, Ya Rabbil Alameen, Ya Ni'am al Mawla, Ya Ni'am al Nasir. Walhamdulillah, Ya Rabbil Alameen, Ameen. Bismillah, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيتها النفس المطمئنة ارجعي إلى ربك راضية مرضية فادخلي في عبادي وادخلي جنتي فادخلي في عبادي وادخلي جنتي وادخلي جنتي I cannot leave here without telling each and every one of you how you have made this sad time of my life with a little bit of joy because my little child has fulfilled her period on this earth to the best of her ability. The little traits that she had when she was a little girl, if I have visitors, she would climb up on the table and recite all the nursery rhymes, you know, or any little song, and they would be very happy. That still lived with her. When she was little, about four years old, 
and she wanted to go to the biggest school where her dad was a school principal. Child was an old, only to go at five. She would put her little foot out. My foot is big. I can go to the big school. <laughs> no, you cannot go yet. She said, why can't I go? I want to learn. The school, when she did go, and they had a concert, she was too young to take a part. She went and told her teacher, my dad told me that I could get up there and sing. <laughs> she went around and told her dad that the teacher told her <laughs> that she could have a part. She danced her, did allow her. She went up on the stage and she sang a song called Black-Eyed Susan. <laughs> and it was Black-Eyed Susan, Black-Eyed Susan, how I love you, how I love you. And it went on and on and on, never ending. <laughs> they actually had to pick up this five-year-old and move her from there. All those traits remained with her. Whenever she hears somebody in a little trouble, I could help, I could do this, and I could do that, and she lived like that until today, this time of her life that she passed away. And as you said, that part of the Quran would say, Allah has created <coughs> us into tribes and nation, not so that we will know each other and not despise each other. And it's so very true. That's how she lived her life. It doesn't matter to her where you came from, what religion you belong, and she is hearing that they're having some problem in whatever form. She's ready to go on help. And I t I'm telling you, <coughs> you are even co-signing for somebody to get out of a financial difficulty. She said, no, they will pay me. It's okay. They're in trouble. That's how she lived. Today, I have to say, my little baby girl lived till 63, going to 64. A full life. She was always on the move, always help, help to help anyone, anyone, it doesn't matter. And today when the Imam said, when he looked and he saw the diversity of the people that came to her funeral, he could see what she was. And it is very true. I mean, I'm the mother and today you all have moved me immensely. And I thank each and every one of you who are here, and those of you who are not here, Allah bless all of you. Allah, to my friends who don't know, Allah is the name of the Creator, the Almighty Creator, and each one of us believe in that there is only one God. And all the prophets from Adam coming down until some of you, our prophet Jesus upon whom be peace and prophet Muhammad is the one religion they taught. Peace, love in this world for each other because no matter what color or race or education we have, we all have the same feelings. So why shouldn't we be kind and respectful and help no matter that is how we should live. And my little um, Yasmin, I used to be annoyed with her at times <laughs> because she would call me and talk to me and tell me what she's doing. And she lived her life that way. And we, each one of us could do something and make ourselves better every day. Small thing, I say, good morning to your neighbor. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or oh, somebody in a little trouble, give them a little help because you never know when we will need it to. So I ask Allah to bless each one of you all for honoring my little daughter. And she deserved that because now I realize all what she used to tell me, it was the truth. <laughs> Seeing you all and you all have brought a little joy to my heart in this sadness. And may Allah bless each and every one of you. <laughs> Assalamu
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ليس البر أن تولوا وجوهكم قبل المشرق والمغرب ليس البر أن تولوا وجوهكم قبل المشرق والمغرب ولكن البر من آمن بالله ولكن البر من آمن بالله واليوم الآخر والملائكة والكتاب والنبي وآت المال على حبه ذوي القربى واليتامى وآت المال على حبه ذوي القربى واليتامى والمساكين والمساكين وابن السبيل والسائلين وفي الرقاب وأقام الصلاة وآت الزكاة والموفون بعهدهم إذا عاهدوا والصابرين في البأساء والضراء وحين البأس أولئك الذين صدقوا وأولئك هم المفلحون